In this project, I created a holographic display and used it to display segmented medical image volumes of the brain. The holographic brain is able to move up and down on the display as well as to the left and to the right. The brain volume can be grown to give a more detailed view of the model and the entire model can then spin around in space. The transparency of different brain structures can be adjusted, allowing the user to see what is below the brain surface. Each layer is able to be adjusted independently of one another. It is made from inexpensive sheets of acrylic with plastic holders that are used to hold the acrylic at approximately a 45 degree angle. A computer monitor then projects the image up onto the acrylic sheet. This display is very inexpensive and easy to construct. Because the acrylic is oriented in a pyramid shape, the user is able to walk around the hologram to see the model from all four sides. This type of display could be used to help show patients where exactly the surgeon will be operating as the hologram can help users perceive depth. I intend to study the benefit of this display with respect to spatial positioning and reconstruction in the future. I also intend to integrate the holographic display with image guidance, allowing the user to see where exactly a tracked pointer is located on a real anatomical model or patient. This display can be used to show any 3D model in the future, the computer monitor will be replaced with a projector in order to increase the brightness of the image. The holographic display was combined with the Kinect sensor, allowing the user to use gestures to spin the volume and zoom in on the model. The Kinect was also used to position the brain volume in space using hand tracking. Integrating the Kinect with this display would allow a surgeon to manipulate a 3D holographic volume in the operating room without having to make contact with an input device. This could be especially useful in facial reconstruction surgery where the surgeon must position many pieces of bone and tissue together with the correct spatial relationship to one another. With that, I'd like to thank Professor Landman and his students Vice and the Med Lab. Please direct any questions to my email address shown on the screen.